Hey, this is Phil with the weekly analysis. I have eight charts to look at with you, and some of which are very close to the entry, starting with the euro pound. So on this one, I'm looking to short it right underneath the monthly 55, and then working our way up, we have the 50 fib, weekly 200, 61.8 fib, and then that's where I decided to place my stop loss. Only about 30 pips on this one, and a decent risk to reward. We do have the 0.86, uh, psychological level tucked underneath the 23.6 fib level there where we can see it definitely resisted price coming back through so we could probably expect the same if price is trying to push back down so we'll keep an eye on that next we are looking at the usd swissy looking along this one we have the daily 55 kind of swooping underneath price was able to push through a little bit come back down threading here and then started acting as support more recently last week so i'm using that in conjunction with this trend line some fib levels here and then 0.9 as the psych level where i decided to tuck my stop loss right underneath and we can see that psych level definitely acted as good resistance for price when it was underneath and then support here and then the other areas of confluence kind of added extra support for price so looking too long it there Next up, the Aussie CAD. Now this one, go on the daily so we can kind of see, looking at the daily 200 and the 78.6 FIB, and if I go back to the four hour now, we can see what that 200 EMA is made of. Recently, very recently, it acted as very good support for price, and back here acted as support as well. Was able to push through here and back up here, but before it did, still acted as good resistance for price. So hoping and expecting that to do the same as it did already, um, kind of missed this move, but when I entered it, I mean, shoot, the price was was about here. So I was hoping it would come down and tuck it, but it uh, missed it. But it's only about 20, 25 pips away from the entry now. So we'll see what happens. Next, look at some Aussie pairs, starting with the Aussie USD. We'll have a split order on this one, and the reason being is because price, the previous candle, got up to the 50 fib and then got rejected. So I have an entry here, but I have another entry right underneath the daily 55. We have a horizontal support and resistance level here, and then we have the 61.8 fib up here and above these recent highs and the fib and the horizontal area is where I have my stop losses. Something to note, the uh, support and resistance level is 0.666, so maybe it's also kind of a psych level, but who knows. Moving on to the Aussie New Zealand, another split, and reason is because of this spike here, this huge bullish move up. If price came back down to retest, we have the, let's see, the weekly 55, daily 200, and then where my stop loss is, is the monthly 55 right above the 38.2 fib level there. We have this recent trend line here, was able to spike through, but it came back down that, the trend line in conjunction with these EMAs and the smaller 23.6 fib level, I think would give enough reason for price to keep on moving up as it has been recently. Next, we'll look at the Aussie yen. Now I like this one, we have both daily EMAs, right sandwiching the 78.6 fib. We look on the four hour, we also have the four hour 200 hanging out right in the same area. And we can kind of see what that daily 200 has been able to do for price, especially here, however many times it's banged on the door, but got rejected. I would hope and expect price if it came all the way back down, given all of these areas of confluence, bang on the door, maybe push all the way back up. Good risk to reward on this one. But something to keep in mind is the crazy spikes that this pair can have. I mean, this one here is about 130 pips. So a volatile pair, but nonetheless a good setup and about 50 pips for the stop on this one, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, about 50 pips. So good setup. Up next, we have the pound CAD. Looking to short this one after we had this breakthrough on the weekly 200. And we have the breakthrough also of the 1.67 psych level. We have the 23.6 fib, but it's a smaller fib level. 
So we'll add that in a little bit into consideration, but mainly we have the EMA and the psych level there. And my stop loss is right in line with these recent lows here, kind of where price got pushed away by these areas of confluence last week. One more order is the Aussie Swissy. Now this is a forward order that has triggered. It's into my stop loss a little bit. It was about 25 pips or so in profit, um, but right now it is retesting the daily 55. You can see how good of resistance the 78.6 FIB level was for price coming up and then got pushed down. So that in conjunction with the daily 55 is the reason for my order here. You can kind of take a closer look and see what price has been doing recently. It's been really testing this area. This has been a strong retest, but we had some good uh, Swissy news due uh, some hours ago. And so I'm hoping and expecting the Swissy strength to push price down. Hey, quick update on some of the trades. They just triggered after the news release of the US's uh, PMI release it was a little bearish. So the Aussie Swissy uh, was already triggered, but is now on its way, broke that psych barrier, hoping that it keeps on pushing down. We also had the pound CAD that was close. That spiked up and has now kind of calmed back down and going back with the trend in the direction that it should be going. And the Aussie USD, one of the first splits triggered, and that's why we have the split in case the full move can't do it, creating a double top right with that 50 fib. It's also on that four hour 200 EMA. So we look at it here, we just showed the 50 fib earlier, but again, looking on the four hour, we got that 200 EMA acting as extra reason for price to get rejected. So that's going. And then the Euro pound, that one just fingers in the fire and turned back around. So we got some nice trades heating up for the week. The others still have potential. Talk to you soon.